Hey guys, IcePickHD here. In this video, I'm going to go more in depth on aerials and freestyles than I did in my previous how to type of video. Before I start, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been watching my videos, even if my audience is kind of small right now. It's a really good feeling having people watch my videos. Anyways, if you find this video helpful, a like would be much appreciated. But let's get right to it. First things first, you guys should find a camera view and control setup that works for you. This ultimately comes down to preference and finding what works for you. I personally use the default camera settings which sounds kind of noobish, but it's what works for me. I like the camera being relatively close to the car, but a lot of people like having more peripheral vision and zoom out more. As far as controls, I use a PS4 controller and I'm not familiar with popular settings on a keyboard or Xbox controller, but an important aspect of freestyling and aerials in general is the air roll binding. On the PS4 controller, I set air roll to L1. This means when I hold L1, I can use my left analog stick to roll left or right. You can also set it up so that you have two different buttons for each direction by using the air roll right and air roll left bindings. This is all personal preference and takes getting used to. Alright, so now that we have camera and control settings checked, I'll start going over some of the tricks you see in my montages. First, I'll start with a simple spirally tornado freestyle. This is one of the easier freestyles because you don't have to worry so much about losing control or boosting at certain times as much as you do in some of the other tricks. Usually your car will fly straight if you do this right, and you don't have to worry about losing control. However, freestyling is generally situational and you probably will have to time yourself and your boosting to hit the ball at the right time and place. Alright, so to do this trick you want to jump and hold your air roll button while also boosting in the direction you want to go. The air roll will keep the front of your car spiraling but in the same direction you jumped in meaning you should fly in a relatively straight line. You can practice this trick and any of the other freestyles I'll be going over in training flying goal to goal to practice your control or in aerial training so that you have a ball to hit. The next type of freestyle I'm going to go over is off the ceiling. Now this is much more difficult than the spiral because when you come off the ceiling you're going to fall very fast. The good thing is that you can keep your second double jump the entire time which can be used to help push yourself towards the ball or stall yourself a little and slow down the fall. To do this just drive up the wall as if you were going to do an off the wall freestyle but drive all the way up to the ceiling. Once you're on the ceiling, let your car fall off and try to immediately start boosting yourself upwards and towards the ball, because you will fall very fast. Once you have stopped your downward fall and get your momentum slightly in the direction you want to go, you can use your double jump to thrust yourself in that direction. Your double jump will go in whatever direction you have momentum, so you don't want to use it until you have the momentum in the direction you want. The next freestyle I'm showing is the windmill. For this, you will need to come off the wall. As you get to a high point on the wall, you should double jump off of it and pull to the side to make your car spin like a windmill. You don't need to use air roll for this because your car will already be in the right position after coming off the wall. After you do your windmill spins, you should fly to the ball to hit it in. It's usually tough to windmill the entire duration of the freestyle but you could transition into a spiral or upside down hit or just a standard aerial to finish the shot. The last free saw I'm going to show you guys in this video is the helicopter. This is very similar to the windmill but has one extra step. Right after you jump off the wall, you want to push forward and flatten your car out, making it level like the propellers of a helicopter. Once your car is flat, you just pull to the side, same as for the windmill, but this will make your car spin like the propellers of a helicopter rather than a windmill. You can also pull backwards to make your car go upside down and do the same helicopter style freestyle but upside down. Alright, 
That's all for this video guys. I hope you liked it and found it helpful. The thing to remember with freestyles is that there isn't a static method to doing it. You can mix and match any of these to make a freestyle as complex as you can imagine. It all just takes time and practice to master. And I am by no means claiming to be a master at freestyling. I only recently started learning how to do it myself. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.